Hello there. I'm here to I'm here today to talk to you about another my experience with a microphone video. Today I'm going to talk about the Shure Beta 58A. I'm going to tell you what I like about this microphone, what I don't like about it, and how I use it. So, first of all, the Shure Beta 58A is marketed by Shure as a live microphone. And I will tell you to start that I am a bit disappointed in this microphone as a live microphone. I've had worse experiences with the Beta 58A than with the SM58 in terms of feedback when playing concerts. Uh, partly because this microphone does capture more uh, upper mid frequencies, you know, 5 kilohertz around there, than the uh, SM58 does. Um, they do claim it is more oriented towards live because it has a super cardioid pattern, which means that it is has a slightly smaller pattern. The polar pattern means how the microphone captures sound from different distances and different angles. And uh, it is true that uh, you have to get... Uh, it basically drops off more quickly the loudness of this microphone, the further you get away from it, it drops off more quickly than in SM58, which is the reason that Shure recommends it as a um, live microphone. But a disadvantage of the super cardioid pattern, if you look at the uh, polar pattern diagrams, it versus a cardioid pattern, which is what the SM58 has, is that um, a super cardioid pattern has uh, certain little limbs of sensitivity uh, at 60 degrees behind the microphone. So it's mostly sensitive, of course, in the direction where you would approach the microphone. But uh, it has little uh, areas of sensitivity at 60 degrees from that. And I think that also contributes to the, uh, the feedback, depending on, of course, how you place your speakers and all that live. But between the... Um, the fact that it captures more high frequency, which can lead to a feedback squeal live, and the fact that uh, the supercardioid pattern has more sensitivity uh, behind it than a cardioid pattern, which only has sensitivity in front of the microphone, but a wider sensitivity around the front of the microphone than the supercardioid pattern, uh, I've just had uh, less luck live with the uh, Shure Beta 58A. On the other hand, where I do use this microphone very frequently is recording in my home studio. Um, I have lots of other microphones and so far I've put up uh, two videos on my experience with uh, the Shure SM7B and the Electro Voice RE20. But I have lots of other microphones and I would like to do videos for those microphones as well. But to get to the point here, this is the first professional, so-called professional microphone that I bought for my home studio. And I find that I still use it all the time in my home studio. It's small, it's easy to take out when you have an idea. Uh, the Shure SM7B is a little heavier, a little harder to set up on the mic stand. And I also really like the sound of this. Another disadvantage of the SM7B versus the uh, Beta 58A is the fact that uh, the Shure SM7B picks up quite a, a lot more bass. And I find that personally, I tend to get caught up in mixing. I spend too much time mixing and fiddling over all the different possibilities and the fact that I need to cut out almost always when I have a full production a lot of bass from uh, the vocals that I record with the Shure SM7B is just another thing in my way as far as finishing the mix. I find that it's easier for me 
to mix this microphone, which goes hand in hand with the fact that it's a live microphone because live, there's only so much you can do. You have very limited possibilities. So you want it to sound good enough without too much work. On the other hand, of course, it doesn't. It's not quite as flattering as the Shure SM7B, but you'll probably need to work with it more, especially if you have a full production. I tend to, you know, a lot of YouTubers tend to uh, present work that's just basically an acoustic guitar and a voice, which is easier to mix, and in that case, uh, a microphone like the Shure SM7B would probably work great for you. But I tend to almost always put bass and drums of some sort, or at least some sort of percussion, on my productions, and in that case, uh, as you may know, if you do your own mixing at around 300 hertz or 400 hertz or 200 hertz, the frequencies start building up and you start having to cut out tons of those frequencies in a full production. And since this is a live microphone, naturally less of those frequencies come through. And so I tend to find that I use this microphone for sketches and then I tend to keep it recently over the last couple of years. Uh, versus a lot of the other microphones that I bought and experimented with and, and use still in certain situations. But, um, so to summarize, it's, it, it is really a vocal microphone. I never said that clearly, but sure, talks about it as a vocal microphone, so let's say that. But I still do use it to, to sketch out uh, just because when I have an idea in my head, I just want things to go quickly. And so I take out this one microphone and I'll sketch out an acoustic guitar or uh, usually an acoustic guitar or, and, and a voice and, uh, and then I'll go from there. And if I decide later on that I want to replace the vocal or the acoustic guitar with something else, I can do so. But um, this microphone is great for just putting ideas together and then I find more and more as time goes by because of the mixing side which I already explained that I just tend to to keep it that I don't tend to replace it and that I like the the, the uh, initial energy that I had the initial inspiration that I had when uh, putting the song out there so summary of, of my experience with this microphone is basically Live, no, it doesn't work for me. In the studio, works great for me. I use it all the time. So, uh, and <laughs> ironically, my experience with the, uh, the SM58, just to conclude, is exactly the opposite. Sure, uh, well, I guess they do market it as a live microphone, but uh, the, uh, the Beta 58A even more so. And uh, I don't like the... Uh, the SM58 very much in my home studio, but I use it live and uh, to each their own. That is my experience and uh, I hope this was helpful to some of you. Take care now. Bye-bye. <clears throat>